PET or positron emission tomography captures images of minuscule changes in the body's metabolism caused by the growth of abnormal cells. Arrive 15 minutes prior to your exam. Hi, Mrs. Craven. Patients undergoing a PET scan will have restrictions on what they can eat or drink before the procedure. Contact the staff for detailed information on diet, especially if you have diabetes. The technologist will ask you to change into a gown or hospital scrubs. Do not bring children or pregnant women with you due to the radioactive material that will be injected. The technologist starts an intravenous line and checks your blood sugar. Then the radioactive tracer, called FDG, is injected. It will allow the radiologist to see images of how your cells take up the radio tracer. The radio tracer circulates in the blood for about 45 minutes, and then you'll be taken to the PET scan area. During the PET scan, you should relax and stay still. Most scans take about 45 minutes. You may listen to music during the exam. You can wear your headphones. Keep your eyes closed there. We're just going to take a little test picture, so I need to put my laser lights on. If a muscle relaxant is planned for your exam, be sure you have someone to drive you home. The PET scan can be used in conjunction with CT or computed tomography images that allow physicians to pinpoint the exact location, size, and shape of the diseased tissue or tumor. PET scans are used most often to detect cancer and to show whether cancer treatments are working. PET scans of the brain are used to evaluate patients who have memory loss, seizure problems, or brain tumors. PET scans of the heart can be used to check blood flow to the heart muscle and help evaluate signs of heart disease. After the exam, you will not feel anything from having the radio tracer in your body. Drink plenty of fluids to help flush the radio tracer. A radiologist will review and interpret the findings and send a report to your physician who will then give you the results.